here, we're going to use this figure on the right. We have to identify the transversal within the pair of those angles. So A looks at 2 and 3. Looks like the line that is parallel would be this line and this line. Those are what is parallel. What's the transversal is what is cutting through both of them. So we can say line P would would be the transversal line. And these relationship is that these are corresponding pairs. Next, let's look at four and five. Four and five, that is possible if this is the transversal that cuts through them. So we can say line Q is the transversal between them making four and five the alternate interior angle pair angle pair okay number c two and four so two and four well that's only possible if this is the transversal so line l would be the transversal there and that looks like that is on the outside and alternating so we can say this is alternating exterior angle pair then we can look at one and two one and two. Well, that's possible if this is the transversal. So line P would be the transversal because it goes through both. They look like they're on the inside and consecutive. So we can say these are consecutive, consecutive interior angle 